M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Tonera BT8000. Playing with this as well today. Hear that in the background. The new M1K. But anyway, let's look at the software. And now I put a link to this software on my YouTube channel. So I can't find a direct link to it. But it's a dual band VHF UHF device. It's receiving right now. I'm using an all in one cable that looks like this and it works great otherwise you try both on cable so here's the zip let's double click it and we'll run it seems to be in Chinese this version I don't even know what that tick box, me tick box means let's just go for it Right, well, that looks like it's in English, so that's the plus. So the COM port is right click the Windows square, cables plugged in, device manager, double click comms and COM2. So then go to the software at the top and you've got the word program. And uh, no, it's not there. Settings, serial port. So settings, serial port. Com to and then remember to click OK and then read start and that's good that was quick and I haven't added anything yet so it's going to be pretty blank let's grab my cup of tea so let's just quickly add my node in so we're going to go number one here four three four dot five five zero we don't want receive ctcss we want transmit because that's what opens up our node or our repeater tx power choices we'll put our medium bandwidth i'll leave but name we do want so we've got that one's hubnet okay so that's that we've named it now let's go into up here we've got new save open where you can save and 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 um, bring bring in the file that you save at the top here let's see if there's any other tabs at the top here oh i've seen import boot picture let's try that import uh, i'm not sure why it's asking for com but i'm going to put two anyway open image and i've got an r2d2 image here uh, needs to be 160 by 139 pixels okay i know how to do that so hmm, one minute. so if i right click on a picture that i've got and go open with paint right click open with paint you know the paint shortcut was showed there and then i go file and uh, image let's have a look now image properties and then size so it says it mine says at the moment is 160 and that said 139 let's see if it works nine and then we'll go okay and then we'll go file export uh, where is it save as and we've got quite a few choices so we're going to try either PNG or BMP so let's do BMP first and then what I'll do I'll name it I'll put it back in the same place actually I just put it in my down no I don't I'll, I'll, I'll just put it in my down notes <laughs> R2D2 and we'll call it BMP I'll put two P's I don't want to get confused so down at save so let's quickly try and bring that in again So if I go tools import oh, wrong one well there's my telling me what radio I've got I forgot to get the Bluetooth model which is so silly because it was like two pounds more so don't make the mistake I made right so tool where is it import we're going to use com to import downloads 
Ah, oh, it actually says it here. Image format is the bit image pixels BMP. Um, so let's just do exactly the same thing, but we'll tell it to do bit. Before I try the other image, I'm just going to see if it does it. It might actually work. Oh, if you look at the radio, it is saying program. So it might actually have worked. Um, image import failure. It did say failure. Let's just try it a minute. Yeah, it's just blank. We might have to tell it to do that. So let's try the other image I did. So open image. Um, where did I save it? So we'll try again, open, and if it doesn't work, we'll move on. But you can see how you do it. Yeah, picture size error, picture use. See, see I, I used, I did 139, but it failed. And then I changed it to 128, and it still failed. Just try one last time. And, um, yeah, it just says failed. Oh, well, we gave it a go, didn't we? So... It, maybe it's because no, is it because I'm already connected on this software? Well, let's go program serial port. I might cancel, yeah, close it, reopen the software, and then just do the, the image. So I'm trying now, and yeah, it says failure. So 24 bit could be to do with that image for like 24 bit 160 by 28 let's have a quick look i don't want to get all right anyway, let's go back to programming so we're going to send that to the radio we're going to go right and click start you can see it says program on the radio and then if we go into let's have a look now now, I don't know if you can see, but it, it does say Hubnet now, and you've got the frequency there, so that's all working perfect. So if you're going to put in, say, a local repeater, it's an analog radio, you would just go, let's try airband as well, because it is an airband radio. So we'll do 133850. 133.850. Of course, you can't transmit uh, band. Now we go to settings. Have a look at serial port program edit areas. Optional feature. You get all this set this nice settings window. Let's have a look at all these settings. Torch. Have you noticed this has got um. A really flashy torch. Let me see if I can put it on for you. PF2 is torch. Let's press it. PF2 is the the button at the bottom by the PTT. So the first time you press it, it goes to channel search. Let's see if I can get it on. There it goes. It's like a disco. It's almost like an emergency light. If someone was looking for you, I get it. If you just press the bottom on once, we've got it to search. You can also set it to to view your the weather band channels. And every button, I'm pretty sure, can be programmed. So anyway, so you've got torch, search, and look at the long list you can choose from. Broadcast radio. Uh, you can set the but a shortcut button for that, which I recommend. And then also, what are you going to display? So on the A band, you can choose to display channel and name and I'll say on the B band leave it as channel and frequency. If we set the say the long press PF2 to let's do this one NOAA and then look at that preset icons and, and battery voltage power on message. That's interesting. So when it powers on you can either show preset icons or battery voltage and it's on preset icons. Um, you've got two um, TDI means it will receive on the A and the B band, but not at the same time. And FM there. Work mode is just your, when you're in VFO, A and B. So look, uh, these are your boot up things here. This is what we mean. So if we go 434.3, four, 
five five oh and then on this one on the b one three three dot eight five zero in vfo of course we're not going to transmit on the air band we can even set a tone here on this one four three four dot five five zero and you've got voice auto backlight off vox if you want it squelch timeout which is off at the moment that's how long you can speak tell tail noise which some people do like battery saving which is on super at the moment i don't really want it i'm gonna go right to radio so yeah straight look how quick it is it's really quick and now it's booting up in vfo mode on the a and on the b band when someone's not speaking you can see that the air band is showing and we set it did we set the did we remember to set the radio no let's press pf3 um for noaa we press it once we've got it set for radio and that works well you can't hear it because the headphone jack's plugged in you can set for the weather channels here let's do it on salt sir there yeah, just go there right that to radio so fast so just play around it's just fun isn't it you sit here and tell your radio what to do so let's try again long press Now that's the torch. I'm pressing too many buttons here. And we've got activity as well. Let's do it again. So now keep getting the torch. I'm pressing the wrong button, aren't I? Okay. Ah, finally. So you got your weather channels. That you can flick through. Well, I think that's about it. Noise reduction switch, beep. BCL means if someone's talking, it won't let you transmit. Oh, look what else we can see. File, save. We can save it. There, it's a data file. File, edit, channel information. Goes back to channel. Optional features, that's what we just looked at. DTMF, you can do, put preset DTMFs in there. Tools, import the picture, we failed at that. And then you've got help, which is pretty much telling you what radio you've you've got version 1.10 maybe there's newer software so just remember to get the bluetooth one you may as well for an extra two pound you may as well get that uh, thanks for watching my channel bye